Hey guys, nothingwire.com. I have the Galaxy S4 with me right now, and I'm gonna tell you some things that you did not know about the S4. So let's get started. First, we start at the lock screen. You must have heard that you can now add various widgets and all other stuffs on the um, lock screen. But do you know that you can also edit the lock screen? Yeah. So you can now edit to have your customized message there. You can jazz it up with various colors and depending on the widget the editing modes or the editing types are different for example this is a quick app a home screen and so you can you can quickly delete any of this app or you can add any apps that you prefer from the scene yeah so that's number one You know that the app dock is customizable and you can drag it to anywhere you want. But now you can drag it directly to any home screen. Do you see? So if I do here, automatically this home screen comes. And if all the home screens are full, I can drag it to the plus and it will create a new home screen for me. That's another one. You know that the Galaxy S4 supports NFC. But do you know that you can also pay via NFC? For example, when you go to M NFC, once you switch this on, you can pay it using your USIM wallet. Now, it's not available in India. In selected countries, you can pay through NFC uh, from the Galaxy S4. For example, Google Wallet in the US. Samsung does not want your Galaxy S4 to look dull even when you're charging the device. So, the company gives you an option of having a daydream. For example, when you go to display and then you have an option of daydream. What it does is whenever you're charging the device, it can show you all these options for example if I have flipboard enable whenever I'm charging the device it will have latest news from the flipboard hovering over my screen if I um, give it an option of the photo albums while charging the phone will keep on showing me the photo albums yeah. The Nokia Lumia 920 was the first device that brought in the high sensitivity touchscreen so that you can operate your touch screen in winter while wearing gloves or even with the keys so the galaxy s4 also brings in that feature so once you go to display you have the high touch uh, sensitivity options here so my option is on so i should be able to operate the screen with my key there you see note that with key it's not as smooth as that with your finger so you need to give a little deliberate push I can also edit my apps there you see there you see cool that's the high sensitivity touchscreen for you the galaxy s4 promises to be your life assistant and what more can a life assistant does than safeguard you for example when you go to my devices you have a safety assistant option now what it does is very important particularly in india when you switch this on yeah you have an option of I can uh, agree to all the terms and conditions now you have an option of setting an emergency contact number your loved ones and then there's an action there as you can see uh, you have to press both volume up and down um, rocker these two buttons together three times and the phone will immediately send an SMS to the emergency number that you've set in here it can also send the emergency picture of the person that's attacking you or harassing you or whatever this is a very very important feature particularly for um, people in India 
The Galaxy S4 is advertised to have the smart scrolling feature where you can scroll down or up with your eyes but do you know that you also have um, the scrolling feature enabled by just tilting your device or you can even set the speed of the scrolling so when you uh, enable the smart scrolling go inside there I have tilting head but I, okay, I can also have tilting device and then when I go to let's say my browser and I open up anything so I can just by tilting the device now instead of yeah so tilting the device instead of my eyes I can scroll to see yeah you can also set the speed of your scrolling here see speed yeah. a great feature that came in with the galaxy s4 is the story album where you can combine some of your photos or videos to make a story album uh, with automated animations and music now do you know that the story album can also give you suggestions to create an album based on the GPS settings for example when you go on a trip and you took a few photos you came back um, if you have G GPS tagged those photos story album can identify them as from a single place and can suggest you to create an album with that for example I have a suggestion here to create an album there you see I can go and I can select from suggestion your location information is required so once I give it it can create a new story album from um, those photos that I've made in that particular location yeah so these are our tips and tricks that are not uh, very famous so that uh, people easily miss out thank you